Hello everybody and welcome to our live cooking show. And I thought I got myself straight here, but I'm gonna adjust it again. Someday I will actually figure out how to adjust this ahead of me showing up and being crooked. <laughs> All right, that just may be what we get today. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our December 5th um, live cooking show. My name is Laura, and I am super excited to cook for you today. Um, today is inspired by my son, Blaine, who um, recently, first of all, is loving the fact that I do the cooking show because then on Monday nights he gets a nice hot meal, um, and he's starting to have his favorite. So today is his birthday. He's turning 16, super excited, so um, we'll have another driver in the house, which has caused all kinds of things to have to go into motion. Um, but we are going to be making tonight creamy chicken pasta, and I've done this one before. It is a crowd favorite. It's super easy, and it comes from our um, Taste Bud subscription. So um, if you would um, hang for just one second, Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to make creamy chicken pasta, and um, I'm going to start with a pound of chicken breast, and I'm going to cut it into quarters. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn this on. This is my Brilliance pan, and um, we're going to cut some chicken, but I prefer chicken thighs. So we're going to use chicken thighs, and um, I'm going to go ahead, I didn't pull my gloves out, so. This is the rare time you're going to see me touch chicken. So the things I do, oh, I hate it. So I'm gonna cube this. I like chicken thighs. They're just a little less dry for me um, than chicken breast. So it's just kind of what I prefer. So I walked on camera for a second because as I look in the microwave, my hubby has the day off today and he's like chilling in the family room and <laughs> watching TV and I could see all of the reflection of the, the commercials on the TV and I was like, oh my gosh, that's going to like make me crazy. <laughs> so like walk off camera for a second and <laughs> adjust that. So the beauty of live video. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today is Monday and man, it is like dreary winter looking outside today. So I'm not really digging that. So I can deal with the cold, but I really prefer to have cold and sun. Um, this just like cold stuff is kind of gross. So hopefully that won't last long this week. But it was kind of mild today. It was like 44. If you're, um, you know, tuning in, you're not sure where I'm from. We're from Ohio, where um, in a given week you can have all the weather possible out there. You can go from snow to sun to 80 degrees. Who knows? Who knows? But today was pretty mild, which is nice. So, but I could use a little bit of sun. So, a couple of days of that, and you start feeling yucky. Pull my trash can out so I can get the chicken out of here so I don't cross contaminate anything. So I'm cutting up chicken so that I can make my creamy chicken pasta, which is kind of a family favorite right now. Um, it comes from the taste buds, it's super easy. Probably should have pre cut this because it's taking me a minute, but. I think what I'm going to do, I'm not eating pasta right now. I might actually have rice with mine. So I'm going to put it in two different um, skillets. I've got a big skillet to be able to do the pasta with this. And then I'm going to put it in another skillet um, just for me. So I'm going to season it the same, but I'm going to leave out the pasta. And then I can kind of control like the carbs that I'm putting in there. Um, but my son is a swimmer and I think he probably would enjoy the carbs. <laughs> so, which is why he picked that. But he's got swim tonight and then straight into musical practice, which is super cool. So that took me a minute. I probably should have cut that ahead of our video. So, okay, two more to go. 
So it's supposed to be cubed and, you know, just get them similar size is good enough. Um, you don't want big pieces of chicken in there not cooking. <clears throat> and get this cooked and wash my hands. Because I usually, if you watch me, I never touch chicken. But I didn't pull my gloves out for my video. So, like, you're seeing a very rare time when I'm actually touching chicken. So, let me wash my hands real quick to get this off of here. Okay, back to normal. All right, so I'm going to throw a little bit of olive oil in my two pans, which probably are pretty hot. I like to use this because it can measure and pour quickly, which is great. And then you can tell when your olive oil is ready because it gets really watery. Um, so if you're not sure like how long you're supposed to leave the olive oil in there before using it, that's, that's a good way to measure that. Figure out what I want to use that I don't need to use again. Let's use that one. All right, so I'm gonna put most of my chicken over here. Maybe, I might leave myself a little extra, and then I can have lunch. Put some chicken over here for me. Okay, now that it's safe. Okay, see what it says. Heat the oil, add the chicken, cook for three to four minutes, stirring halfway through, and the chicken will not be completely fully cooked. So then I'm going to add broth and seasoning. So let me get my meat here, my measuring cup. So if you're on, I would love for you to say hello. Um, tell me what you're having for dinner. Did you have a good weekend? So we're kind of like in the in-between holiday time, which is nice. Um, getting ready to gear up for the next holiday, which is always wonderful. But busy, so super busy. And I have to schedule in some playtime when things are like this so that you can take a little break. Okay, so that's two and a half cups of a low um, sodium chicken broth. Okay, and we'll add that in a couple minutes. And then we need seasoning, and the seasoning that we are using is the garlic parmesan seasoning. It's one of our newer seasonings. It's wonderful. Um, it really packs a punch. And I need a tablespoon and a half. I think my slider can do that. Tablespoon. I'll have to do it twice. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do it twice. Probably can fit it in here. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay, so let me pop over here, do a little quick stirring. If you're just popping on, I am doing um, pasta chicken, and I'm doing two versions. I've got a pasta version, and then I'm doing the version for me, um, which does not have pasta. But I'm going to season it similarly, so that I get kind of the, the flavor of the garlic parmesan, um, but I don't have the carbs in mine. Okay, so I said three to four minutes, and it will not be fully cooked. I'm going to be getting close. I love the stand because it's got nice high sides on it. So I can put lots in there. Okay, I think we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and put two and a half cups of chicken broth in here. Okay, and then I need, I think it was a tablespoon and a half, double checking it so I don't overdo, broth and seasoning and then cover. Okay, so I need a tablespoon and a half of my garlic parmesan. There's a tablespoon, and then I'm going to adjust this to get half of that. Oops, that's not going to work. I'm going to take that off. Okay. And then I'm going to add it to mine, too. I'm going to leave out. I might put a little bit of chicken broth in there. I feel like with kind of a dry seasoning, 
like having a little broth might be nice. I'm making a mess. <laughs> Pop that in the sink. Deal with that in a little bit. Okay, and then I think I will go ahead and add some broth to mine. Just kind of give it a little bit of a sauce to mix around. And looks like I seasoned my spoon pretty well. Mmm, that smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this one. I can check my next set of directions. So if you're on here, go ahead and say hi. It looks like Melissa's on. This is reposted. Yes, I will be reposting it. Yep, no problem. I know four o'clock is kind of tricky, so I know that's super tricky. Um, okay, so cover and bring to simmer over medium heat. So I've got it on medium heat. I just need to simmer, so I'll give that a minute. And then I will be adding Costa next. Fantastic. Okay, so next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to hang for a sec and go ahead and do, I want to do some quick breadsticks. So I'm going to peel this. When I'm making a meal like this um, and I'm doing a little bit more cooking than just, you know, picking a protein and a veggie, um, I like to have some things that are already pre-made. Just makes things go a little bit faster. So get it to pop. It says you need a spoon and I actually needed a spoon. Let's see. Feels like a jack in the box when these things open. Okay, so I'm going to take this. This is the um, cover baker, the lid, and I'm going to use this to cook my croissants just so I've got something yummy. I think they were croissants. You know, I'm like questioning whether they were croissants or breadsticks. Let me flip that over and check. Present rolls. Yep, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna pop these on here and then cook them in the oven. If you have the covered baker, make sure that when you do this, um, that you don't put the cover on the baker unless it has food on it, okay? So you don't wanna put the cover in the oven without food on it because it can crack. It needs to have food on it um, to be good. But you can use it as a lid and do like lasagna in the baker and then like carrots or breadsticks on the top. And then it makes it really pretty to serve as well. Or you can use them separately. So if you're just popping on, um, today is my son's birthday. Tomorrow is my husband's birthday. So it's birthday week around here. And um, his, my son's request for dinner was the chicken and pasta. And I don't know exactly when he's going to eat it because he has kind of a crazy night. Um, but he's going to eat at some point. He may eat on the way from one thing to the other. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to, how it's going to shake out. Okay. So it only needs nine to 12 minutes. So I might go ahead and put those in. Let's see. Maybe I'll wait. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Alexa, set an alarm for 11 minutes. Starting now. Okay, if I don't set a timer, I will never ever remember. Okay, so next up, I think I'm probably to the point where I need to put my pasta in. Okay, and I'm gonna do that for nine to 11 minutes. Cool thing is you transfer it to the oven then it finishes in the oven. So it's like really, really easy meal. When you're busy, I need a hot meal, something yummy, maybe some comfort food. Pasta, replace the lid, simmer for 9 to 11 minutes. Okay, and then we're on to toppings. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. I think we're good. Okay, cool. Lid gets hot, so it looks like I'm using the wrong burner over here. I'm going to do that. So if you wonder why I've got two things of chicken, I'm doing chicken for me that doesn't have pasta in it. So I don't have to pick out the pasta because the last time I ate this, I ended up like 
you know, just ditching the diet and just eating the pasta because it tasted so good. So this time I'm gonna do like a little bit of rice, I think, with it. Okay, then I need to um, combine the toppings. All right, Alexa, set an alarm for eight minutes for the pasta. Pasta timer. Okay, so I'm going to combine the toppings in a small bowl and set aside. So I need half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I'll go ahead and get that rolling. We always have a pair of like junk scissors in here because you don't want to use like your nice scissors on um, things that are plastic because it dulls them. Bye, but I didn't bring it out ahead of time. All right, so I need half a cup of breadcrumbs. Pop those in there. And then I need half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna get a quick clip for that in a minute. And then I'm just gonna grate that. I don't know if I figure out which way I wanna grate that. Let's do it this way, because then I can kind of track how much is going in there. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Um, I wish you were here because the smell of this Parmesan is divine. It, um, the garlic Parmesan is like one of our new seasonings and man, it is, smells amazing. And then we're gonna like put regular Parmesan in here. So we've got garlic Parmesan seasoning and chicken and pasta and oh man, it smells yummy. Got breadsticks, or I guess we're doing crescent rolls in the oven. So if you're just popping on, I don't like to make everything. Like when I'm doing a nice dinner, I like to have some things that are pre-made, and then I'll spend the time making one thing. It just makes things go a little bit faster. So like if I'm adding a veggie to it, I would do like maybe a frozen veggie, like um, broccoli or something like that or add spinach into this, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to add spinach into the mix, so then it's all ready to go. Okay, how many Parmesan? It's a little bit more than a half a cup, but I'm sure you won't tell. Okay, and then next up, I need a tablespoon of olive oil. So, go ahead and measure that out. squeeze it and it comes up through the top. Okay, put that in there. I need another one. This is like measuring in teaspoons, so. There we go. Okay, and then I need half a teaspoon of the garlic parmesan seasoning. So I usually just take the lid off and then use one of the, one of the measuring spoons, just a little bit easier. I love it because everybody has been cooking recently, which is so cool. I love it when the kids get in the kitchen and like Hubby gets into the kitchen and is cooking and everything ends up in weird places. But I love that our products, um, I don't have to tell them to be careful with things so they can just go for it. Um, and it's not any big deal um, for everybody to play in the kitchen and try things out, so. Okay, just kind of spin those around. That'll be the topping. Um, I think we don't put it on until like the very end. Okay, it says once pasta is tender, add the cream cheese, pesto, and Parmesan. So let me get that going. I think I forgot my pesto. Okay, so let me see how much cream cheese goes in there. I think it was the whole thing. Four ounces. Okay, so I need half of this, I think. One ounce, one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, it's half. Okay, and mine's a little gooey because I left it out on the counter for a little bit. Once pasta is tender, add the cream cheese. So I need like half of this. 
gesso and the primer bag. Okay. Let's scoop that out of there. And then I need two tablespoons of pesto. Let's see, if I can use this. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Oh, that worked out well. In there. One more scoop. so that they spin around. The last time I did this, I ended up cubing the, um, the cream cheese, uh, but this was like already pretty much room temperature, so I didn't really need to cube it because it spun around pretty easy in here. So, made that a little bit easier. It's getting close. All right, um, and then I need an ounce of grated Parmesan cheese. So, let's see if I move my grater. I think I must have dumped it in there, so I'll have to get another one. I'll do this one. Okay, so I'm just going to grate that directly in. So next up, let's see, once pasta is tender, add cream cheese, pesto, and parmesan, which I did, and then stir until the cream cheese is melted, remove from the heat, and stir in the spinach. Okay, remove from the heat and stir in the spinach. You need to check my pasta and make sure my pasta is good to go. It feels pretty good. I think it needs like a minute or two. It's like just a little bit on the crunchy side for my taste. Okay, let's do this. I'll give it a minute, let it chill out for a sec. Okay, pop that in there. Um, and then I'm going to make cookies. So, and again, I don't want to make, um, oh, my timer's about to go off. I don't want to make everything for the meal, so I'm using our cookie mix, which I used last week to make the big cookie, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to make regular cookies. Your pasta timer is done. Alexa, stop. All right, so I'm gonna just dump this in there. This is our cookie mix. It's wonderful. And then I need six tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, so just pop that in there. And then an egg. And we did, the boys did cake um, this weekend. So there's a little bit of cake left and I was like, oh, maybe we can do some cookies. Got a quick spin over here. Almost ready to add the spinach. I'm gonna turn the heat off on this side. That's going to be done in just a sec. Okay, got my egg in there, so then I just need to mix it up and then drop it on the pig sheet. Right. So I would say by the time this is done, then the pasta will be ready to add the spinach. I hope everybody's having a great day. If you're just popping on, Alexa, stop. That's probably for my crescent rolls. I'm going to check those real quick so I don't fry them. Alexa, set a timer.
timer for two minutes for the crescent rolls. They're not quite golden brown yet. So if you're just hopping on, today is my son's birthday and um, I'm trying to figure out what to make on my live video, so I let him pick. And this is the creamy chicken pasta. If you're just catching it, no worries. I'll pin it up to the top on my um, profile so that you can watch it um, when you get off work. So no worries on that. And at 4 o'clock, it can be kind of tricky. It's almost ready. And it goes from being really dry, it's, it's wild. It goes from being really dry to like, oh, well, look at that. That's like cookie dough. Okay. Cool. There it is. Okay, so this is our Flex Plus, and it's the hand mixer, so, okay, and you like to set it over here, especially when I have a lot going on on the counter, um, because then I don't take a chance of dropping it into the sink and washing it. Okay. One more minute on that. Okay, I might do those in a sec. Okay, pop my spinach in here. And then I can put my topping on, and then I'll finish it in the oven, which is nice because it kind of opens up the area up here, like on my stove top. That was the one thing when I made this the first time. I'm like, I hope everybody is like okay with all the spinach that's in here, and nobody said anything. I'm like, ooh, look at that, a good hide of veggie. We're throwing a veggie. I'm going to kind of spin it around a little Your bit. The present rolls timer is done. Alexa, stop. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. It's not quite done. There's still kind of yellow, they need just a little bit of brown. They smell good though. Okay, I want to get this mixed up because I don't want to put my bread topping, like the panko topping, I don't want to put it all on spinach. So, yeah, there we go. Kind of get those spinach leaves. Those only take a couple minutes to like cook down and fit in there. on it. See it. Okay, so like it's beautiful just like that. So it smells really good too. I'm gonna give it a good stir. Some of the stuff on this side didn't have all of the seasoning on it. Okay. Mm, yum. Okay, then I'm going to just double check that I'm doing it right. Top the pasta with panko mixture and bake for six to eight minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle that around. The last time I made this, it was when my daughter was coming home from college. She had an impromptu like visit and she needed real food. So I made this for her and then send it back with her so she could entertain her dorm with real food. So, which I thought was cute. Okay, I'm gonna dump that in there. Get off my hands. Okay, and then this is going to go into the oven. Grab this. Okay. Don't think, yeah, that's a little bit hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in like that. And when I go to grab it, I don't take any chances. Make sure it didn't fall off the thing. I don't take any chances that I grab it out with my hand and burn my hands. Okay, Alexa, stop. I don't know about you, but I would be sunk without timers. <laughs> Definitely need my timers or else I'd forget. Okay, so we're gonna put this, we'll just leave that there. Pull these out and then I can put the cookies in. So those came out beautiful. And that's on the lid um, to the new baker, which is beautiful. that finish up my cookies 
All right, so now I'm just gonna drop them onto the cookie sheet and then those will be good to go using the cookie scoop, which helps me measure them out and get them all the same size so that they cook evenly and at the same rate. I hope everybody's having an awesome Monday. We had a really good day around here. It was, it was nice. I could use a little bit of sun, but that's okay. Maybe it'll come out later. <laughs> if you are popping on and you're a host, scream out that you're a host. If you're a guest in a party, tell us who your host is. Um, if you're in my VIP, um, put that you're a VIP. So if you want to know what a VIP is, um, shoot me a message and I'll send you an invite. Um, to our VIP group. Okay. I feel like if I mush these around just a little bit, I can have this one little tiny one. Now, if that like drives anybody's OCD a little crazy that I put that, <laughs> excuse me, just out of order there. Okay. Pop those into the oven and they go in for 14 to 16 minutes and then they're good to go. Alexa, set a timer for 14 minutes for the cookies. 15 minutes, starting now. Okay, so um, I have some cleanup to do and then I will show you all of the wonderful things um, all put together for dinner. So I've got the chicken and pasta, um, with spinach and garlic parmesan seasonings and then um, some crescent rolls over here which are actually done and then chicken for me and then um, the cookies for everybody in place of um, place of our cake because I think the cake is just about gone so I hope that you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for popping on bye everybody